Sorry if it's having a hard time zooming. Get out of here. So I was thinking about playing it, but no, this video is already getting too long. So we're just going to wrap this up here. So you can kind of pause and look at it. I might pop into one more game, maybe two. And like I said, you can pause if you want to check them out. Space Invaders. That was my very first arcade game I played as a kid. Uh, my dad went to Sears to get his car looked at. I think there was something going on with it. He couldn't figure it out. He was getting, I guess, someone to look at for him. And they had a Space Invaders next to the Coke machine. and I asked for a quarter and I got hooked. That's how I became an arcade uh, fanatic. After playing that first space of air and everything took off. Especially Pac-Man. And playing that one, I got really addicted. Oh, here's a cool one. Star Trek. Now, I'm a Star Wars Star Trek geek. So, I love these games. So, go ahead and here. I, I just like the way it looks. The side graphics just like the arcade. Put a quarter in there. The only thing is, the audio is a little low for Spock's voice saying, Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh. Alright. Hopping out. We got Star Wars. Gotta show you Star Wars. works just fine with the trackball. Like I said, you have to go into the settings um, and then you can alter the speed of the trackball. Okay, you hit start. And of course you move it. Alright, yeah, here. I can just start playing this forever. Love that game. Okay. Just like Defender, there's Stargate. Plays just fine. Lots of Street Fire for you Street Fire fans out there. You got a lot of baseball, football, bowling, soccer, you name the game, tennis, it's there. That Super Pac-Man? There. Uh, but the only other Pac-Man I didn't show you. You could go to the little section in the in the um, in the groupings for Pac-Man. There'll be all the little Pac-Man games there. Grouped together. You got Super Zaxxon, which is hard as hell. It's cool to play, but it's hard. Now here's a cool one. Tapper. Tapper is a Budweiser sponsored game, which you could go out there and try to find the original out there. Um, somehow, after a while, people started, I guess, complaining because it's sponsored by a uh, Budweiser. There's a Budweiser theme right there. And uh, they changed it to... Uh, to... Uh, I think Grouper Tapper. Alright, let me get out of here. So you change Tapper to Root Beer Tapper. So you can go out there and you can see a lot of Root Beer Tapper games out there, but trying to find a Tapper one is tough. Um, there is an arcade game, uh, like Bart, arcade bar game. This is cool, you use trackball for this one, another shooter. There's a bar cave, and that's what they call them. Um, they actually had a tapper there. It's in Richardson. 
So if you're ever in Dallas, you gotta check out uh, the video game museum in Frisco, and then the uh, free play in Richardson. I'll put links below to their websites if you want to check it out. It's got the Simpson two player, but not the four player. Um, Three Stooges. I can't believe there was an arcade game with Three Stooges. Alright. We're winding it down here. Thanks for hanging in there, guys. If you thought this was cool, please hit the like button. Show us some love. If you're old school gamer like me, here's Tron. I'm going to hop in here uh, just to show you what it looks like. But it's, you know, like I said, without the spinner, the uh, tank game and the, one, the ones you play, you spin the guy's arms. It's kind of tough to play. But if you got the cycles, let's see if we go for cycles. Oh, good, cycles. Then you can play that just fine. So. And it plays just like I said, the arcade. All right, well, I can get out here. I can't show you the full gameplay, but at least the ROM works just fine. If you get a spinner and a um, like a flight stick connected to your Pi, I'm pretty sure you can play that game just you know just fine. All right. And you got the Versus games. I think there's the um, Nintendo that put this out and had Mario Bros. right there. You could play in the arcade and all that. Apparently had Goonies. Did not know there was a video game for Goonies. Alright. There is a Vetrix uh, game here called War of the Worlds. I got into the H.G. Wells story and saw the... Uh, movie with Tom Cruise. It's alright. You know, Steven Spielberg made it. I'm a big Spielberg fan, so I checked it out. It's okay. Let's see here. Wizard of War. That's a cool one. And like I said, you can pause this and read all the games. I've got some X-Men games here for the X-Men fans. There's Zaxxon. We gotta play Zaxxon. I gotta hop in here. I loved this game as a kid. And like I said, what Wolf Nose did, it, they, the side screens to make it like you're playing the actual arcade. That's how I do. I was gonna crash. I'm out here. Well, this is winding it down. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, you know, let me get out of here. Ah! You can jump to different, you know, sections if you want. Um, and like I want to hit D, it goes right to D there. You hit the select button for all the options there. So, that's kind of cool. And then, of course, you hit the back to go to the arcades. Oh, I did promise you Daphne, so let me hop into here real quick. Now, unfortunately, this is not part of Wolf Nose Image. I added this to Daphne to it. You got uh, Dragon Slayer, uh, Dragon Slayer 2, and Space Ace, and Astro, Astron. So, Astron, um, and it shows Wolf Nose there. He kept the... the uh, the actual um, thing to play the ROMs, I just had to add the ROMs to it. Um, this one, I, a ROM I did add. It's a, um, you know, LaserDisc game by... Oh, I went backwards. Oh, this is a, a, a LaserDisc game by uh, Don Bluth, I believe, did the originals. And Rich Richard Dyer was the one that had, uh, you know... 
made the other ones. And what I thought was cool, I love this game because it had the Enterprise right there. There's no uh, side stuff like the other one. So like I said, this is not a wolf in this game. And just moving this around and shooting pictures of uh, video pictures of the uh, ships. It goes to different it goes to different areas. It's kind of cool. And of course, you know, you just got to, you know, let me get out of here. You just got to avoid some of that stuff. Let me hop into Space Ace. Let me show you a little bit of that. It's another one of the games I put tons of quarters in and, oh my goodness, ate it up. 50 cents a pop. Most expensive uh, game that I have uh, played when I was a kid. Now, this image here, well, not image, excuse me, this ROM here is the arcade ROM, so when you boot it up, it's going to take a while to boot up because it's reading the laser disc and it just, you know, this is a uh, rip from that ROM. You see the test screen, which is kind of cool. Space Ace! Now it's going to repeat. Justice, Truth, and the Thunder Earth! Is being attacked by the evil commander Borg. There you go. Space Ace, defender of justice, truth, and the planet Earth. Ace is being attacked by the evil commander Borg. No way, Borg, old buddy. I'm in here. By the Infanto Ray. Struggle with Dexter to regain his manhood. Destroy the Infanto Rays! Defeat the evil Borg! Hey, Borg! <laughs> Come on, Kimberly, let's go! I've been hit! Ah! The valiant space warrior! The fate of Earth is in your hand! Kinda of cool. Alright, let me get out of here. And we'll just go ahead and end this on Dragon Slayer. The very first game I played. It's an interactive cartoon that I thought was cool as hell. It's like Space Ace is going to boot it up and then it's going to restart itself once it starts playing the intro. It's how it did it back in the days. I, I was told by a friend of mine who did own an actual Dragon Slayer uh, console. Well, our arcade uh, game cabinet. Uh, he said that that's what it did. It showed you the uh, little startup screen testing right there. I think it's kind of cool you get to see this. It's going to start, stop, and start again. Dragon's Lair, a fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the pit. Dragon's Lair, a fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. <laughs> You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has incited it with treacherous monsters and obstacles. In the mysterious caverns below the castle, your odyssey continues against the awesome forces that oppose your efforts to reach the dragon's face. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, my channel has got a lot going on. It's about arcade games. It's about video games. It's um, movies. Collectibles. But I appreciate you. We'll let it play one more time. You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has incited it with treacherous monsters and obstacles. In the
mysterious happens below the castle, your odyssey continues against the awesome forces that oppose your efforts to reach the Dragon's Slayer. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Alright guys, I appreciate you. Once again, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Layers, I'm going to play some arcade games.